Hey guys, Zig and the great Robo. Robo. We just finished up uh, doing a little info marshal for Smart Pack. Smart Pack, yeah. We we we've been at, I've chased Smart Pack for over a year, uh, trying to get them to carry our products. If you don't know who Smart Pack is, they're they're an amazing company. They developed this uh, really easy to use single serving uh, packets. So horse owners can just, you know, they customize the different supplements they want to put on their feed program. Thanks to guest work. Yeah. And they just, they just have a, you know, they smart pack sends them a, a batch of these and, and, you know, every day they just rip them open and put them on their feed and mix them in. And, and they've, they've been a powerhouse in the supplement market for quite a while. And, and we were very fortunate to be able to start working with them yeah. about a year and a half ago, I think is how long. I think so. And, you know, we're, we're trying a more concerted effort to, to help, you know, grow our sales through that channel. Yeah. And, uh, and so we've been in here shooting some video today. And yeah. Saying, yeah. 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 I got it. Uh, well, Robo is, uh, is the director. No, it's good. You know, I think the, the key thing, uh, of course, I'll back up here. Dr. Rob and Dr. Keith, they've done so many amazing videos. They make it look easy. They make it look easy. I just turn the camera on <laughs> and they just rattle and right. want to take. Yeah. And then I hardly have to edit. Well, the thing about it is, is they're so I'm going to have to edit the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Well, they're so smart, right? Yeah. And, and they're vets. And, and you know, in my travels, when, I, when I'm talking to vets or whatever, I, I never try to act like I talk to vets. So, but when they make those videos, it looks, it looks, it looks like it's been edited to perfection, but it's, they're just so smart. But, you know, Robo kept telling me, just, hey, man, have a conversation like you're talking with somebody in a barrel race or a roping or a cutting, you know, just talk about gut health and, and what probiotics are. And so the more that I did that, the the better it came off. It's just, just we're talking horse, right? We're just talking about the horse. Yeah. yeah and, and, and just like everybody trying to keep them healthy, you know, and, and I, I think that, you know, we've, We've full buckets always focused, you know, from day one when we started in 2011. We, we really focused on digestive health because we felt like that was the most underserved area. Most people were buying joint products and you know, uh, you know, supplements trying to make their horses look better, but there was not a lot of, of information and products available to really help them be more healthy and just optimize it. And, Protect them, you know, the older horses when their digestive system goes downhill and, and younger horses are susceptible to disease and, and the, really the performance horses are travel and training and stresses. And, and one of the really interesting things that, you know, that we really are working on now is the overall microbiome <laughs> health of, of the horse. And, and uh, you know, it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting story uh, that, you know, the, the as an animal, you know, the horse, which are fancy <laughs> infographics here, will demonstrate. That's your horse, toy horse. <laughs> He's had a broken leg. Uh, this is one of my, yeah, so he was on antibiotics and okay. I could put him on some probiotics. Well, of course, yeah. You know, the, the girls, I'm sure, drop him somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, the, as animals, horses and humans, you know, there is a, there's a protective barrier around over the entire body. The entire outside of the body. We mostly think of, of you know, the immune system as being something inside. So right. when you get a cut or scrape or you get an infection inside, you know, we use antibiotics and, and other ways to, to yeah. kill the, the, the infections. But something that we don't talk about enough, I don't think, is that there is a protective barrier around the entire outer skin of like animals. Right. Yeah, on everything. Mm -hmm. And and you know, the, the it's the microbiome. <clears throat> And it, you know, it's weird to think about, but we're, we're not really like a banana where we have an outside and we have an inside, you know, the, we're like a donut because the mouth and the digestive system is just a big hole right down through the middle of us. And that microbiome lives on the outside of us, protecting us from constant um, bombardment of diseases and pathogens. Yeah. And it's constantly fighting us, fighting for us. Right. And, it, and it even goes down through the mouth and all the way through. And, and the, you know, 70% of your immune system is in that microbiome. If we didn't have it, 
you know, your eyes are being bombarded constantly by pathogens and landing on your eyes all the time. And the reason you don't have an infection in your eye always is because of that microbiome. It, it is protecting your eyes from, from those, those stressors. And when you are stressed from any, for any reason, the microbiome feels that stress as well. And, you know, and that's why, you know, when you, you are, uh, staying up too late or you're stressed over work or whatever you're you're training for for you know a triathlon right you know your body's constantly yes. being stressed and same with horses you know <clears throat> horses are stressed and and they really feel it in their gut yeah. the, the hind gut because a horse's digestive system is so different than any other animal and that digestive system of a horse and the hind gut that it uses to process food you know, the microbiome is, you know, there's trillions of microorganisms in the hind gut that are breaking down the fibers, you know, and, and keeping that hind gut doing what it's supposed to do, which is pull energy out of, out of, the, out of the fibers. And, and the, you know, when you are traveling, training, or for whatever reason, that gut gets affected by it and the microbiome health goes down, now you have created a, a Taking time off. So yeah. And so we pay attention to that entire system from the mouth all the way through and out the other side. Yeah. Which, you know. yeah. And so that's sort of the, the thought process behind what we're yeah. doing. And our probiotic pellets, which we you know talked about for Smart Pack today, is just one area of the health. You know, the stomach is an area, the intestinal tract is an area. And you know, the more we understand about it, the more we research the microbiome, which right now we're doing a huge study. It would be the biggest data gather for horse microbiome and genomics yeah. um, ever done. <clears throat> the more we understand about it, the more we realize the importance of it. Yeah, you know, it's uh, to, to break it down into, you know, we're talking about what we do for these horses, is to put it in more of a smaller or easy thing about terms is that. You know, we spend money on uh, flashway, right? Because we don't we don't like the flies eating on the horses. We spend money on mane and tail products, keep them shiny, and the brushes and and the boots to protect the the legs and the veterinary you know shots and and the injections and all that. And, and yeah, you you guys talk about it all the time. Is 70 percent of all disease starts in the gut. Yeah, upset stomach. So it's the same thing with a horse, you know, when you're, when you're giving it um, antibiotics and, and that's a stress. You're talking about those stressors on that system, you know, whether it's traveling or training or the weather or separation from a buddy, you know, that it was next to, uh, you know, they, competitors take these horses to different arenas, right? And it's a different stall. And they wash the stalls, but there's still pathogens there. There's still stressors. And so, you know, we do all that uh, for the outside of the horse, kind of like what you were saying, and for the joints, because, it, man, it's so important to protect that gut. Right? And, and I think horses are more susceptible if you think about the farther away from nature that they get, their natural setting, which is, you know, mm -hmm. they're, you know having their head down, grazing on open plains and pastures all day in a herd, with their hierarchy, you know, that those horses don't have problems with their gut. You're not you're not doing colic surgeries on horses that are that are in natural. their natural settings. Sure. It's the horses that that are under those intense um, unnatural settings. Right. And what we're trying to do is you know we're not going to you know we humans mm -hmm. have created a relationship with the horse and, and that relationship isn't going to change. But what we can do is we can change the way we approach it. We, we you know, we, we're giving the, the proper feed and the proper hay uh, programs, which have all the nutrients in it that the horse needs. And the the problem is, is that you know they they become deficient not because there's not enough nutrition in the feedstuffs we're giving them 
because they have that stress, stress yeah. and the microbiome is affected. They're no longer able to extract the nutrients out of the feed that is really required to, to keep them healthy. Sure. And and then it's and then it's a cascade snowball. Snowball. Yeah. And so, you know, we we work really hard at, at, at you know the athletic formula product that we have is is really probably my favorite product because it it it's a complete program, you know, and it keeps the stomach, uh, you know, when the enzymes in there, it helps the stomach break down the sugars and, and the, the starches and the fat yeah. and the proteins. And when you're when you're really traveling a lot, training, it's a lot of energy the horse is going through. You got to increase the feed amount, you know, which is unnatural. Which right? is unnatural. Yeah. What happens is is that 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 those enzymes in the stomach, <laughs> they're not able to break those things down properly before they pass on to the hindgut. And when those sugars and, and, and things get to the hindgut, it throws the system off. And gas, bloating. And eventually cough. Yeah. You know, eventually you have that problem. And, you know, as we're explaining uh, in our, our video, we've taken a lot of precautions. There's so much inf misinformation about probiotics. You know, everybody thinks a probiotic is a probiotic, <laughs> and that is just not true. Yeah. Um, there's very, very few strains of probiotic that have been proven to work in horses. And, and you know, there's a lot of probiotic on the market. A lot of it is just brewer's yeast, um, bacterial yeah. strains that, you know, if you're on antibiotics, bacteria is affected by that. You know, we chose the Saccharomyces boulardii because it's a yeast-based strain. What I thought was really interesting, it's actually extracted from fruit skins. And great, right? Yeah. yeah, and well, originally it was um, uh, it was a different kind of fruit. I can't remember the name of the fruit, yeah. but anyhow, the the the, the Saccharomyces boulardii strain is a yeast-based strain, and it, it in nature it protects the skin from diseases, Disease. pathogens. Yeah. yeah, just so happened that they found out that it actually worked in animals, and we use it because it's yeast-based. You can use it right mm -hmm. alongside of antibiotics. Yeah. yeah. But also that it doesn't stay there; it doesn't propagate in the gut. It, right. It only lasts which there is three or four days because you want the natural to restore microbiome. So the Saccharomyces boulardii goes in there, and it's sort of like the National Guard it holds down the bad pathogens, you know, and it restores order. And it actually has a lot of research of doing a lot of other things, you know, in boosting immunity, the immune system. Yes, yeah. and and then we add prebiotic in there, and prebiotic is are basically, the, it's food for good microbes. So the, the mi microbiome eats probiotic, you know, and that's its, its food source. Yeah. So we had pro prebiotic in there along with the probiotics so that we're going in and we're establishing order, holding down the bad microbes, and we're bringing prebiotic in there to feed the troops and yeah. get them back on their feet because we want the natural microbiome of a horse healthy. Yeah. And, and no, bi no microbiome is the same. You know, different, different geographic yeah. areas, different situations. They all have a different fingerprint, basically. And we don't want to replace that. We want that horse needs his own fingerprint. We just want to help it out. Yeah. So we go in and we establish order, feed good microbes, and then get on it. Yeah. And and that's proven to be very beneficial. Uh, then we bring in some L-glutamine, and L-glutamine is a is a, an essential nutrient that's produced by the body that keeps the cilia in the intestinal tract healthy yeah. and that's very important because when that intestinal tract gets inflamed 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 that's a good word yeah, yeah I like it yeah inflamed yeah it's swollen swollen yeah. bingo it no longer can do its job of extracting nutrients out and then it creates a bad cycle yeah so it's not now the horse isn't extracting the nutrients out now it's deficient in nutrients and it just propagates itself yeah. and it doesn't help you to throw more vitamins and minerals on feed if that is all that system's all broken down. Yeah. You're you're just pushing it on out the back end, yeah. and you're going to find it in the stool. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to fix that system so that they can extract the nutrients out of their natural food source, yeah. which gives them better health, longer lasting, and it's just a it's just a more holistic way to yeah. approach that ecosystem. All right, so one of the topics we covered in the Smart Pack video was this pellet form. And I'll let Robo talk a little bit more, but, you know, we decided before to, to put this probiotic pellet form because it's more palatable. 
Uh, horses eat pellets, you know, naturally anyway, with their feed. So how can we claim that our probiotics are alive in that pellet? Because we know pellets have to be cooked. Right, right? yeah. When you're, when you're developing, you know, pelleted feed, uh, you know, it's required that you that you use intense heat in order to kill, you know, unwanted pathogens and salmonella and things like that. I mean, it's just, that's just part of the, the recommendations. And, and so there's a lot of feed on the market that are, you know, pelleted feeds that, that have probiotic on the label. Right. Well, they might've had probiotic put into mm -hmm. it when they went into the process, but it's not coming out the other side yeah. because it, it can't survive that process. And, and we really wanted a pelleted feed because of the palatability and sure. the ease of use, sure. you know, mixing it into feed and horses, horses can't segregate it out as easy. And so we, it took us a couple of years to, to figure out this process. And luckily we micro encapsulated our product. In this. Okay. So that's, we're, we're protecting it. Right. Right. Where it's not just, you know, a probiotic is a living organism and you, you use it, you know, on feed and, if it's exposed to too much heat and, and other you know external factors, and that it can it's very susceptible to die. Mm -hmm. In fact, if it's not if it's not um, protected, when you when it when the horse begins to masticate in the digestive process, that can kill the probiotic before it ever gets to the hind gut. That's where you're in the beginning. And yeah. that's so we started to micro encapsulate, which is essentially just every you know living organism has a shell around it protect it from heat and moisture and air okay. until it goes through that process and gets to the hind gut where it can work. And we also lyophilize, which is, you know, it's just a fancy term for freeze dry. Okay. And it's sort of like putting it in stasis. And we did that so that it has a longer shelf life. Yeah. So that, you, that the living organism is, is freeze dry, it's lyophilized, and, and then we micro encapsulate it, we put it in a, in a, give it its own body armor, so to speak. Right. And and then we that they're able to last until it gets to the, the hind gut yeah. where it can work. Now, this combined with some other of the processes we used to pellet it in the first place allowed us, you know, the low heat and the microencapsulation lyophilization allowed us to pellet the, the product, yeah. pellet the probiotic, and keep it alive. And then once we were done, we had an independent lab test, they test our batches yeah. and to ensure that, you know, we, we have 50 billion CFUs in every dose, yeah. which is by far the highest concentration on the market. You'll see a lot of times uh, high levels of probiotic in, in, in product, but they all often, in fact, I've never seen a case where they didn't stack it, which means They'll add this 100 million to this, 100 million to that, 100 million to this, a billion of that. And then they add them all up and they say, this is our CFUs. Yeah. Well, that's really misleading because each probiotic actually stands on its own. You can't say, you can't add up all your vitamins to a full sum yeah. and say that's how much vitamin it has in it. You have to you know, tell how much is in it. The other thing too, I find this in a lot of uh, other products is that, you know, it'll say that there's uh, 10 to 40 Mm -hmm. There's a range, yeah, and it'll have it'll list two two ingredients. There'll be two strains. Well, it doesn't say how much of each strain is in there. Right. So it really is just a guess, you know. So and anyway, we list exactly what each strain contains in our product. And and a lot of times the the third party testing or lab testing will reveal that it's actually even higher. Yeah, we right. almost every time we've had it tested, it's been mm -hmm. higher in concentration and. Um, which is not a bad thing. You can't overdo probiotic. It's you know it's an all natural product. You, you can't overdose on it. Yeah. And you know it's completely safe. It's race safe. It's approved by all the, the you yeah. know, organizations. And so you're never going to fear. In fact, we have a, a paste product that has 100 billion CFUs per dose, and um, you know it's a higher concentration paste, so that when horses have diarrhea or they have ongoing problems, that you reach for that first, right. and 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 it, it really gets it gets it in back in order quickly, and then you can go to the pellets on an ongoing basis right. to prevent future problems or chronic issues. Well, I know you know we talk about Saccharomyces being the most studied. There there was you know there are some skeptics, right? So do probiotics really work? There there was a study done uh, 
where they, the outcome was that it didn't work. But the problem is they were dealing with an 1,100 pound animal. You know, and, and I always use this example. Robo taught me this years ago. He said, you know, if you, if you got a pound and headache, right, uh, or migraine, and you know, you're going to take 800 uh, milligrams of ibuprofen, right? Because you know, that's what you need. But if you go in there in the cabinet and you pull out uh, aspirin and you take 8 milligrams of it, you're not, you're, you're still going to have a yeah. migraine. Well, the study had low doses of the probiotic. So then they came in, somebody came in later, and they used higher doses, and there was a, the positive effects of the horse, the immune system. And so, you know, when, you, when we're talking about concentration, you know, full bucket is the highest. And the reason that is is because you're trying to affect this massive, Bobo talks about it, the massive digestive system of the horse, and, it, you know, it's a 1,000-pound animal. You have to have those high amounts to get the benefit. So he talks about 100 billion for our paste, and then our, our pellets are 50 billion. Well, there's a reason for that, right? Because that's what's going to create a change in, in positive of the microbiome. And, it's, and the thing is, it's not cheap. I mean, that's one of the reasons that they have low concentrations and they use the cheaper strains of brewer's yeast is because it's cheap. And they yeah. put probiotic on the label. People just don't, aren't, you know, uh, ed educated yeah. enough about probiotic to know Oh wait, these are these are cheap strains. Right. And there's not much in here, but it just says probiotics, so they, yeah. they use it. And that that was the misleading factor. You know, our, our you know one dose of our product is 333 times stronger than the number one selling probiotic. Yeah, I love telling that story. And I mean, that means that you, you put one scoop of ours, you have to do 333 scoops yeah. of of our competitors' product. Yeah. And, you know, that's that's a massive difference that's hard to comprehend. Once you start talking differences between hundred millions and billions, it's 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 exponentially right. a different different category. So right. it has the right strain, which is you know, the like the ibuprofen, the aspirin example, it has the right strain with the saccharomyces body, plus we put enough in there that it's gonna do the job right. on on these high performance animals. Yeah. And, and the, you know the 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 uh, people who are really trying to get a horse and keep them healthy and get them on the road and, and get the performance out of them that they need that know that they get the nutrients out of their feed you know it's worth it to to spend a little bit extra a day to you know sure to yeah. get that performance level and knowing that it's been tested by independent lab yeah that's, that's a lot important fact yeah. too yeah. So on these pellets, you know, I know that we have a wide range of customers. You guys created, uh, or football created these pellets for, uh, for kind of some specific targeted horses. Uh, once you talk about that, like, I do know that, that, you know, it is, well, I'll let you talk about it, then I'm going to add some more well, additional. He talks a lot, anyway, yeah. So wh who is this for? These probiotic pellets. I, I think we can expand that. Than from the original purpose, but you know, we talk about why, why are we giving these credits to these horses? Well, you know, the you know, full bucket was created because, you know, first of all, back then uh, when Rob and Keith developed these products in you know, the very beginning, it was because they, you know, they had horses, they, 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 they work on very high end performance horses, and they, you know, they knew when they were used antibiotics or, or they horses that were in surgery or whatever reason, these are these are you know big stressors on horses. Sure. And they get diarrhea and they you know their guts get all upset and and there really wasn't anything that was a natural solution that would work. Like we said there were you know, low concentrations, the wrong strains. Sure. Yeah. And they put a lot of research and a lot of trials and efforts into their own patients until they found stuff that would work. And and so we originally developed the products for you know the, the clinical use you know for veterinarians to be able to send horses home healthy and, and keep them healthy you know if, if you've got chronic situations where horses had colic or colic surgery okay. you know that that gut's going to be you know it needs help yeah and so and older horses too that's a big market is the older horse market so um, you know they originally developed for for veterinarians to use and, yeah. and, and then you know we've expanded our lines into where you know we realized that the horse owners needed needed you know 
products that they could use to prevent those things and then to you know help carry on a, a prevention to heal sure mm -hmm. and so you know the pellets are, are for you know horses that have had shown problems in the past um, they're for horses that are you know under high risk situations mm -hmm. so if you're traveling and training it's a great program to be on so you can you know keep from having those problems um, and and it it's also for those older horses, you know, they're as like your entire body system as you get older, everything starts to wear down and wear out. And it's yeah. the same with the microbiome. Yes, yeah. that's why that's why elder people are so susceptible for MRSA when they get cut. You know, you have MRSA living on your skin, when you get cut, your microbiome helps protect you from getting the MRSA. But as you get older, your microbiome is a wear out strong right? and you're highly susceptible to MRSA. Same thing with horses. As they get older, the microbiome is, is yes, yes, right now. This is a great way to keep that yes. as, you know, as tight as possible. And, um, and so that's really what the pellets are for. It's really easy to give and really easy to carry and, and add. So Yeah, well, I'll say this too. That's kind of my point was to talk about those, you know, those chronic issues, those older horses. But we're actually having uh, some farms who can raise babies and train babies. They're putting their two-year-olds on it when they go into training, because we know just from the, the amount of three-year-olds that we see that have ulcers, I mean, it's incredible. Uh, we know that that, you, when you put your horse on a trailer and you take it to a training stable or- Ulcers is a big problem. When you put it in a tight round pen with a saddle on, of course, now all that stress is created, right? Those first few months of training, very stressful on a horse. And then we're going to increase that training level, whether it's with a cow or a barrel or a track, or whatever. So we're having some farms actually get ahead of that. Mm -hmm. And they're putting their horses on these pellets to keep that microbiome balanced, to keep the, the pH balanced in the track, you know. So, you know, it's really a broad range, mm -hmm. you know, spectrum that you can use to protect, prevent, and then also heal. Yeah, you know, the athletic formula is also a good, you know, preventative for that because, you know, the ulcers in the stomach, you know, the enzymatic level and the performance of the stomach is a big factor in preventing the preventing the, um, the ulcers, you know, from forming in the first place. Probiotics don't cure ulcers, you right. know, um, and we'd never claim that, but if you keep that stomach healthy, they have a better chance of avoiding the ulcers in the first place, you know, and you, you want that, that the, the digestive process of the stomach to be optimal, to stay ahead of those problems. Just yeah. like in the hindgut, um, you know, the, the probiotic pellets is great for the hindgut. It, it keeps that hindgut healthy and doing its job of pulling energy and nutrients and getting that feed in the, in the, the, um, the fibrous nature of the feed through the system. You know, the athletic formula has has the probiotic in there to help that and you have glutamine for the intestines, but it also has the enzymes. The digestive enzymes. Yes, yeah, right. which, is, which is very, very important on this high performance animal. So you're pumping it full of that feed right. to keep up with the caloric intake. Yep. Those enzymes are going to say, hey, fats, you go here, starches, you go here, proteins, you go here, right? So really, they, yeah, they just get a, they, you know, the stomach breaks them down. So when they do go to the hindgut, all is good. Right. You know, the recommendation that Rob and Keith make is is that when you're when you're training and travel and trying to do the, the preventative or you want to optimize that that, that nutrient pull from yeah. your feed that you're you know in our studies almost all performance horse people are feeding the right feed. They're giving a really good the quality. Feed is really good, good grain right? and good quality hay. Yeah. Uh, but they are the horses aren't extracting those nutrients out. because of the stresses because of the stresses and that athletic formula helps them yeah. do that if if that's not working if that's not enough and they end up getting you know digestive upset then you reach for this because this is the, the power booster yeah, yeah so or if they've had chronic problems in the past sure you'd have them on that as well but they're you know we have products kind of for every niche Right. Older horses and foals, we have great foal products as well. So it's foaling season, right? Yeah, foal, foals are just a different, you know, they have, their, their digestive system is similar, but they're going through different problems, you know. They're, they're you know, when a foal is born and until they're a certain age, the, their immune system is just forming. You know, yeah. They get as much as they can from the mother's milk, 
and you know their digestive system's getting stronger and they're building antibodies, but they're highly susceptible. You're talking about being under disease, attack, right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and you want to give them that that boost in the very beginning. You know, the first week of life for folk is so important. I mean, it, it could be make or break a prospect. Sure. You know, if, if they have problems the first week of life and they miss out on you know those few first few months of, of development. Yeah. You know, they may never catch up. Sure. And it might be that one little factor because they're bred to be winners and they're trained to be winners, but yeah. they miss that first, you know, three months of health to get them started right. You know, it could it could be well make or break. And then uh, in the at the very least, you know, with with E. coli selling all those bad pathogens, uh, you know, we brought babies into the stall, right? We're having them installed. Not in the pasture. Not in the pasture. It's not a national environment. So, you know, we're just traveling in Oklahoma this past week and talking to breeding farms. You know, those babies are born and, and we're watching them on a the camera, right? I mean, we're, we're that far on top of them that we're watching with a camera and we get there as soon as they're, as soon as they're, they're born. Well, before that foal gets that colostrum, right? It's going to get up and it's going to nibble on the wall. Or on the shavings or on the horse's tail. Well, we know some of these mares are carriers, right? Of, of some of these pathogens. We can clean the wall and we can dig the dirt out and all that stuff, but there's still pathogens there. And so, you know, that foal stomach is wide open. And so we have, you know, the kickstart and the foal probiotic to protect that. And you're talking about how important those that first week is. Well, those products are there. You know, we're kind of jumping around about yeah. all the products and we just thought we'd riff. But it kind of gets excited. I get excited. We're going to just talk and make fun of you for the video. Yeah, that's right. Well, hopefully the magician here will edit it down, and it'll be good for Smart Pack. You know, they're 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 seeing the importance of of digestive health and keeping the microbiome, uh, and then they see what our products, how our products stand above everybody else. And, you know, that's why we partner with them. Yeah, and we're really honored that you know they, I was I was very honored that you know they. They sent their, you know, like I said, everybody tries to get in a smart pack. Right. And they sent their, you know, the head uh, uh, product person who vets all the products. And, and you know, mm -hmm. we've been trying to have a conversation with them. They sent her to our booth at uh, AEP a couple years ago. Yeah. And she got to spend, she meant to spend just a few minutes there. She ended up spending over an hour. Yeah. And, and learning more and more about what we were putting into the, Thought process behind our products and and that sealed the deal. Yeah, we're able to move, move it in from there, and and just really glad that we are because you know that's a that's a you know, pretty good statement in the vetting process. Sure. So, yeah, and it's really cool. The more I personally learn about the microbiome and the health, you know, even me and my family are taking different precautions and doing different things about yeah. our health because I know now. You know, they always, you know, they start talking about using the, uh, the hand uh, sanitizers, sanitizer. you know, and, and uh, you know, really those kill everything yeah, in your hands. Right. And so you're, you're, you're killing the microbiome that's keeping your hands healthy in the yeah. first place. And so, you know, we all use a lot less shampoo because things live in your hair that are supposed to be there, the oils. Mm -hmm. and, you know, <laughs> I'm using salt rocks, <laughs> <laughs> but I just take more precautions oh, yeah. to keep the microbiome. Well, the more we learn, right? right? Absolutely. The more it's, we learn, it's really cool. It's really kind of fun. Yeah. I mean, the body was was given. It's designed pretty damn very easy. good, but we screwed around. It's like you know, we bring the horses in the stall, but I mean, that's the way yeah. it is. You know, we we have products and, and things that help us fight those. So. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like it really cool. So I'm okay. glad we did it. We need to do this more often. We do, we do, and we need to have your, your toy again. I'm going to do some drawings on here with an yeah. intestinal tract. And, yeah. You know, do some demonstrations. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think you should. I think you should. Be sure to get that back to your dog. For right. Black Beauty. Yeah, yeah. So we put out a broken leg. Yeah, so we need yeah. to split that. Well, let's get back to work. I got some yeah. to do. Okay. Thanks, guys, for letting us pop in here. Have a good one. Yeah. Talk to you later. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, gut health, microbiome, full bucket. Till next time.